All right, this should be going. Can I see? Okay, I see green on YouTube. No idea how long that will last. I am pre-recording this though, so just in case, I still have something. All right, and I'm already seeing dropped frames on OBS. I'll let it keep going for a little bit anyway. So there has been an update to Siege of Centauri, which is what we're in, hence why it says it in the upper left. Um, and I'm just, I'm looking at the, the Steam News page on it. Uh, guide new mission. Siako? Kiak? I'm not entirely sure. Um, home of the spiders and we're, a new enemy arrives, the falling star, which this is an interesting one. When it's destroyed, it will temporarily disable the towers around it. So you don't necessarily want a single spot that, uh, is where all the killing happens, where where you're very, very heavily reinforced, because if that goes down from this, then everyone's going to walk through. Uh, a new tower called the Stasis Hammer can only target large enemies and has an incredibly slow rate of fire. That is what it says here. I have not seen it yet. But it stuns those enemies for a brief time and added an ability that... I, I would not be surprised if... if uh, in fact, does not survive to the release. It's for uh, wiping uh, campaign unlock progress. So this is for testing progression, which is something that, it, yeah, you do need doing testing. If anything, it's just kind of interesting that they're actually making that public and not keeping that to internal QA. Uh, some balance changes. New line of sight calculation that is more forgiving. We'll see. Uh, made Limbo slightly easier. I'm not sure which level that is. Decreased hit points of the Gliding Crane. Some things were rebalanced. Added Energy Cells to Nahant with a bonus, bonus objective to destroy 400 enemies with Energy Cells. So that's a map. Excuse me. Added a bonus objective to another level to defend the Fission Reactor. And then some UI changes, including Grid Display when placing towers. Thank you. I don't remember if that was the first video or a later one. I'm going to stop the stream because I, I just see it's still dropping new frames. Um, I don't, it may be in the first one, maybe in the second, that just having a grid view is help, can be very helpful. I mean, it clearly already places on a grid, which I like because it, I, I want to optimize my uh, use of space. So being visible, I, I, I welcome that. Uh, updated Hologram displays for selected towers and units. Mission wave panel shows the colors and descriptions for each of the units. Oh, okay, that, that's neat. Switched radioactives to energy. Uh, in Ashes of Singularity, it was radioactives that was used as that source, so that it makes sense that that's why it was originally called that, but changing to energy does make some sense. Uh, even though it may seem a little weird to do that now, it's like, you know, what's wrong with radio actors? Well, it's, they may be trying to target a new audience or broader audience with Siege of Centauri. So go to energies. It's less... It's less specific. It's something more general. I, I could see that being being fair. Um, new difficulty slider and update the corrosive motor models for each tier. And that's all. Alright. So... With that covered... I just have one other thing I should do. Um, just look at what the hell was it this week? Okay, there's that. To talk about in the news, because I, I do like trying to talk about the new stuff. Yeah, those two things are are, are worth it. Um, oh yeah, four, three things. Okay. All right, that's an here. Let me, okay, that's one of the missions that got updated. So was that one? So was that one? All right. Oh, okay. that that got rebalanced. Some of these. Okay, there's that very first one that I couldn't. Wasn't sure how to how to pronounce it. Here, let let me let me go back. Uh, oh, that's the new mission. How did I only just now notice that they have numbers? Alright, um... 
there is a part of me that does want to go back and try to get some of those. But I'll go forward for now. Oh, okay, so that's how. I'm going to leave it at normal. Uh, one is Punishers. Flying units. Huh. Fun. All right. Um, okay, it looks, uh, okay, so, oh, that's interesting, coming from both. So this first one is going to come in from down here. It is weak to... Corrosion mortar, particle cannon, and the Minos cannon, which I will not be putting down just now, because that takes a very long time to do anything. And there's the grid. That's nice. Um, I don't think, I wouldn't think it's going to have line of sight over there, so don't want to use that. Could put the mortars there, but I actually have a decent amount. Um, there... There's so three there. Okay. That there. Okay, so that's actually two things coming in. Wait, what? Oh, no, they just come in from the top. And these, I think, is what they may have been referring to as far as hologram. Holograms. Okay. Um, eek. All right. Wait. I, ah, well. Wow, you guys. Yeah, that's the. You weren't telling me that masochists were coming. Now oh, they weak too. Um. I actually find that interesting that these are also two by twos. It's like these things are two by twos as well, and just I would have believed that it's uh, different. Yeah, this is not good because I had no clue that's how this. I, I no, I'm gonna restart this. It's like I was expecting different units. Um, okay, so. Oh. You know what, actually? I mean, it, man, I don't like this. Well, oh wait, no, it can't. Pause it. it, it that doesn't have health. <laughs> that can't be destroyed. It just sits there. All right. In which case, then, I do think that having these up here. would work with that down there because that way these get them coming in and as this holds them and I hope this works
Yeah, I guess. This is not working. This is working a little better. Wait, no, I put it up there. Okay. Throw some time on that, but I wish it could be. I think it's. I think it might be these. Yeah, I'll just assume it is. Yeah, it is. Perfect. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter too much, really. Son of a bitch, why are you guys? Why is it you guys? Um... I'm saying, well, it keeps saying, hey, we're sending, hey, we're sending these things, and then I get these masochists in there, too. There to hold them. And they're still in range there. Um, I'll wait. Try to get another one of these. I think there's actually best. Alright, what have I got? Surrounding allies. Very weird. It's saying it's coming down from the top, but there's there isn't a path. That's just top. I honestly don't even know what this does. I, I know what it says there, but I don't. I don't understand it. I mean, drones seemed nice in ashes, but I don't know if that really translates here. Um. Okay. What does it actually recommend there? tell what that third one is. Is, is this? Ah, yes. That, that's, that's nice. Alright, um. Oh, yes, and I do also need anti-air. Um, let's 
same cost. Connect speed. You really should be able to go over and read that stuff. See, it's also, I have no actual idea where they're coming in. Because just saying top, it doesn't help. Because it's, yeah, they're a flying unit, though. And it's... Is it down here? Could it be over here? I don't know. It it does need something to act to properly identify where they're coming, where enemies come in from. Ah, there we go. I don't actually know which one to use. Okay, that's that's good. Um Yeah, I guess. So that's that new one. Um, I'm just going to put those down. I, I was thinking about the Milton, but... Alright. I'm also just thinking, what all? Because I haven't talked at all about... Ooh, you're big and mean. Um... I put did put down a couple things there. Um, so yeah, a few things from this week. One is that AMD is now 50 years old. And that's kind of funny how that lighting is. That, I have a feeling, is something that we will see changed. Um... Sure, why not? Uh, you know what? I want to be on the safe side. I don't know if they fire through. Oh, crap. I don't know if I can work those guys backwards.
there. Alright, so far so good on this stuff. That is neat. They, they are actually working on that too. On the air units as well. Alright. Oh crap, what's what do we have here? Destroy destructors. Um They don't need line of sight, so there. Oh well that's not good for me. 80 metal. Uh, hopefully I'll get there. I'm there. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be that soon. There. Alright, good. Alright, so this should be fine. Where are you coming? You're coming in from both. Huh. That's all I can do right now, really. Why are you backing up? That's not fair. Oh, okay, it's just that thing. Although, I also have that thing there. Alright. You are weak against those. That should work. Okay, so you're fine. Doesn't really matter.
alien. Okay, so that's that's good for me. Okay. Those guys should go down fairly easily. Have to. What the hell? Oh, this isn't going to be much fun for me. Three hundred, okay. All right, well, it looks like this is going to wrap up. Um, so yeah, going back, uh, AMD is now 50. To celebrate that, they have a special uh, gold anniversary gold edition uh, 2700X, uh, Ryzen 7 2700X CPU, and also uh, Radeon 7. GPU. Um, it did not seem like they had any, like, that they were special bidding or something like that. I could be wrong, I just don't recall that being announced. Um, I guess we'll leave that for now. Oh, that's not good. Did not realize they would do that. It's actually kind of interesting because nothing else had been. There. Um, I know there was more this week. Oh yeah, uh, Valve announced the Valve Index VR system, which is a new head-mounted display, new controllers, the Knuckles controls that we've seen, talk, seen talked about before, um, and new uh, Steam VR base station tracking, whatever, 2.0. Uh, I don't see that being necessarily useful. Well, yeah. All right. Uh, by the way, I'm doing this at night, so I may keep it short. Um, what else was there? I know that there was more. Oh, yeah, that. Hang on, I'm going to get a drink of water before I start on that one, though. I want to go back uh, with 500 stored metal. <whistles> Not necessarily going to be easy, but let's try it anyway. Um, okay, so this, they all come from down here. Uh, 
right. Think that. That should work. Um, but yeah, something else. Another thing that was in the news that people were freaking out about, even though it's really... Not... I'm gonna restart. I keep... I don't think of what their names are correctly. It's like, no, I wouldn't use the arc projector on those things. That's... No, that's not so... It recommends these. Yeah, I, that would be better. Um, this is going to be the most efficient place to stick them. Uh, also this week was announced that Epic is purchasing uh, Psyonix, the developers of Rocket League, which led to Massive freak out by people because, oh my god, it, it means that it's going to be removed from Steam and it's the end of the world and all this other stuff that isn't actually true, but it doesn't matter because people want to complain. It's the internet. Um, yeah, that, that pretty much covers that. Pe it's the internet. People want to complain. Um, see, now those guys, those I want to use that thing on. Um, but seriously, that, that's, that is the, the reality of it is that currently there is no announced plan that they will pull Rocket League from Steam. Just that, yes, it will come to the Epic Game Store, which should surprise no one. Arguably, you'd expect even without this acquisition that Rocket League would come to the Epic Game Store. It's a popular Unreal Engine game. Why wouldn't it? That 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 is that situation. Um I want to use that. The stasis hammer is the that I was referring to. Um, okay. What do I have coming up next? Put a bit of healers. You know what? Yeah, let's just rush. Because I think that also helps with me getting metal, and I want to see if I can hit that. Oh yeah, this will be fun. Do I have... Yes, I do. I do have two of these. But, yeah, so, people were just jumping to the conclusion that it will be pulled from Steam, even though the only thing concerning Steam that was stated was that they will um, continue to support it there, regardless. I mean, that, that shouldn't surprise anyone. Um, and one thing kind of funny, to me at least, is that... The, the idea that it would become an Epic Games Store exclusive actually 
made me kind of happy, and I can explain this. Right now, unquestionably, the Epic Game Store is behind Steam when it comes to features. Okay, Th there is no way you can believe otherwise, because it is. Well, a number of those features are things Rocket League would need, like mod support. Personally, I just want to see us finally get uh, Steam screenshot, well, uh, screenshots built in the Epic Game, Game Store launcher like we do already have for Steam. It's like, that, that's very helpful. It's really rather annoying when you're trying to review a game and you can't take screenshots. Um... Yeah, it, it's so having that would be very nice. A little bit more. There. I know it's completely unnecessary. I still want to do it. Oh, wait. There's a lot of enemies remaining, actually, so maybe it's not so bad an idea. Um. But, yeah, I mean, just Rocket League, because of the, the workshop, and potentially other things, too. It's like, no, you, you would really want to have this stuff built in there. I don't know what the Epic Games Store, how that is for um, playing with friends, either. I, I just don't know. Um, like, Steam definitely has that figured out. Epic Games Store might not right now. Um, how long have I been going? Yeah, I think I may stop. Just, like I said, it, it is actually late. Um, but yeah, I, it could be something that's a good thing of a, okay, we need to get th certain things done for this to actually make sense to have on the, uh, on the platform. You know, I just realized I forgot to unmute the uh, game audio. Sorry about that. I don't think you're really missing too much, though. It's not got the most impressive of audio at the moment. It, it's functional, but it, it, it's not like... I wouldn't even say that you're missing much in the way of audio cues at the moment. I'm sure that will change. I hope that will change. Um, yeah, I'm actually just so you don't have that background audio. Um, I'm not really need too much. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, I, I don't. And, of course, people have already review-bombed Rocket League, and it's like, why? It's like, the, we don't actually know if it's going to leave. And it, it's also, it pisses me off, in part because it's the idea that it could be exclusive there. Because who the hell cares if it's available on more than one thing? I mean, like, would you review Bomb a game because it is now also available on the Xbox? No. That's stupid. That's really stupid. We don't know if Rocket League may become exclusive to the Epic Games Store. A lot of people think that will happen. It might not happen. Because it's also, don't forget, the whole exclusivity stuff... That's what Epic is doing in order to get attention, to pull people away from Steam. Because Steam is a de facto monopoly, okay? It really is. It has de facto exclusives like you wouldn't believe. Like Rocket League. I'm pretty sure that is a de facto exclusive. It's not available on any other platform. But nobody cares. Nobody complains about that. Because Steam has such a presence that it doesn't, no one thinks of it as an exclusive there, even though, yes, it is an exclusive. Yeah, actually, let, let me quickly look. It'll, it should say here. Yeah, for PC at least, Rocket League is a de facto Steam exclusive. And it coming to the Epic Games Store makes perfect sense. If it isn't exclusive, then why are you review bombing it? I mean, it makes no sense to do that. Oh, another thing. Yeah, because this reminds me. Because some people have pointed out Epic Game Store currently has no Linux support. 
Bucket League is available on Linux through Steam. Um, I don't know if that's a special version or if it's just through the Steam Proton stuff, but I mean, you could see, because there's a desire to get certain games onto it, that, that would push Epic to be like, okay, we need to start having more features here, more systems in place, so that the communities can be here. And Rocket League might be one that can help pull that off. But yeah, it's... Going back a bit to what the, the point I was getting at about the whole Steam is de facto monopoly, de facto exclusivity for a lot of things. By the time this may happen, because I thought I had seen one thing suggesting that it would be long term, like months from now, that they might pull it. In fact, it might be months before Rocket League gets put onto the Epic Game Store. Well, if that's the case, by then, Valve may have responded. It's like, I, I think it's very weird that this war between Epic and Valve has basically been completely one-sided. Has Valve done anything, at least publicly? Not, I, I can't think of anything. Um, but by then, maybe things will have cooled down and we won't see these exclusives anymore. It's possible. We need to wait and see and stop review bombing. It's pointless, especially when it's something like this, where it's literally you're guessing or you're making it up. Don't do that. Right? I mean, other things, it would make more sense. It's like, okay, I can understand why you're doing that. I can still think you're wrong to do it, but I can understand it. But, like, one thing, the, the um, like, review bombing previous games in a franchise because a new one is going to the platform you don't want it on. It's like, why are you ruining another game that has nothing to do with it, that has been out for years? You've, you've had gotten... Many hours of enjoyment I've and many other people have, and now you're saying, eh, it's horrible because of something else, something unrelated. I mean, that, that, that isn't appropriate, okay? And it's also, it's disrespectful, think of it like that. The people that worked hard to make that game, and to make the new games, you're insulting them. You're saying, hey, th this stuff is worth less to us, just because it's on one platform and not another. And to be more accurate, because it's going to be exclusive on one platform instead of being exclusive on a different platform. It's not that it's not exclusive. The issue isn't the exclusivity. The issue is which it's exclusive to. I mean, seriously? Stop it. That's me ranting. In part because it's late and I'm tired. And I should probably not do it so much. But anyway... But I think maybe I should also say, these are only my my opinions. Don't, don't associate my opinions with anyone else. There's probably plenty of people out there that don't want to be associated with my opinions, even if they were to share them. I don't even know what that means. Like I said, I'm tired. But, yeah, it, it's my opinions only. Um, yeah, so I should probably stop now so I can get the video processing, get it uploaded, get it scheduled. Although, actually, I might just upload it directly. These things have actually been pretty small in file size. All right. Well, in any case, uh, should see you next time. I don't think something is going to come up, but I don't know. Things have just randomly come up, come up for me before and caused problems. Hopefully not. Hopefully not this time. We'll see. See you next time.